All right, perfect. So now we are displaying some dynamic data in our homepage. We have our posts complete, almost there. We have the image, title, the author, the time, content, and all that great stuff. We have the categories. Right now, let's jump into the sidebar and let's do some stuff here. Let's build our custom search engine. Let's go to the categories after that and let's go to the widget. We're going to display some categories here too. So. Um, just for you to know that. So let's go ahead and build that. We need to go to a database to actually find out. When the user types something in here, we need to search the database to see if we can find some of the content they're looking for, right? So if they type here, hello, we go to the database, get this field in the database and say, you know what database, do you have this field somewhere? And then if we do, then we display it, right? So this lecture might have two or three parts, all right? Because there are some steps that we need to follow. And I'm afraid some of the steps could be too long if I put it in one lecture. So it's not really hard. It's actually easy. It just takes a little bit of time to do. So what we want to do is go to the sidebar. And here in the sidebar, we need to find the block search well. Make sure that you find that. Separate it a little bit, as you can see there. Perfect. We need a form to submit some post data. So that way to the feed to the to our database. All right. So let's create a form right under here and let's call this form. And let's put it right below this div right here. Let's do a little comment here and just say form. Search form. All right, just so that we know that's the end. And the action, I'm going to leave it that, that way. And I'm just going to say method. Just for your information, if you leave action like this, it would not submit it anywhere else. It would just submit it to the same page. So the post here would be, the, the method would be post. We need to send some information via these buttons here. So we need that name attribute there. And I'm just going to name it submit. Make sure that you change this button there to type submit also. If not, it won't work. Let's minimize this a little bit so that way it's in order. There we go. And this text field here, we need to also put a little attribute there. I'm going to make sure is search because we are going to be using this information. Just getting too big and I don't like the way it looks when it gets too big that's why but I want you to keep seeing this anyway so now that we have this form here we need to catch the data somewhere and I'm just gonna catch the data real quick just to show you or just to find out if it's working right so let's catch the data here but let's not forget our PHP tags actually we're not catching it via get we're catching it via post super global let's put some PHP tags in here Let's take this out from here and put it down here. All right. Perfect. And I just click on, press on tab on my keyboard and it will do that for me real quick. All right. So let's see if that works out. We're going to get an error, but I'll show you in a minute. So we get this error here because it's undefined. It's actually trying to do something. But right now, it's not going to do anything anyway because we're not echoing. So let's make sure we echo that. And if we do this and that, we get some of this field here. Hello. Display here, as you can see. So it's working. We are submitting data there. Perfect. So now that we know it's working, let's actually, if we go ahead and, and do this here and put our cursor here and click on Enter, this is we got this arrow here. We avoid that by actually checking for this first, checking for that search or for submission. So let's do that. So let's do that with an if statement and let's just use it some let's use something like the is it function and let's check for a submission post submit. All right. And then if we find a submission, then we want to also search for this and actually assign it to a variable. 
the variable that we will be using is called search. All right. So now, and let's just echo the whole thing out just to check it out. Right now, you see that we don't get that error when we click enter on top here. But if I type something here and I click on the search, we could see that we get something out of there. Oh, perfect. All right, so we know that's working now. So what do we want to do with when people click on submit? What well, well, we said that we want to search our database, right? So that's exactly what we need to do right now. We need to search our database to find some information uh, about what the user wants to find, right? We want to display some information to the user. So we have our form here all set up. And I was thinking about making this in, an, in another uh, lecture sense. This already took a little bit uh, of time. So let's leave it for another lecture. On the next lecture, I will show you how to go inside the database and do the search for whatever the user types in in, the, in our search engine and, uh, and find that information displayed to the user, right? So that's what we want to do. We also want to validate if you know no information comes out of the database. So I'm going to show you that in the next lecture just to make our lectures a little shorter. That way uh, you can do all the things, take a break, and, and come back, all right? So anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Take care.